Welcome to this edition of Card Player TV's High Stakes Living. This time we're at the Las Vegas home of Steve Zolito. Let's go check it out. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Thanks How for having you? us over. You're welcome. So where should we start? Um, well, since you're outside, why don't we start outside? Sounds good. Okay. One of the things about the property is it's very unusual for Las Vegas to have big areas back this way and I was lucky enough to get a, a yard that's almost three acres wow. and it's got old growth trees and all of that stuff it's unique in the desert but you say to yourself where is the global warming when we need it it's freezing today <laughs> I'll show you I guess we'll go by the pool you have to keep it open all year long well we turned on the waterfall especially uh, for oh, you guys During the summer, it's on a lot, and you know, people come out and have have cocktails or whatever. This was a sort of Japanese tea house, and I converted it into a little gym. Wow! You know, it's, this is really good because you have you can work out in private and watch your own movie and not worry about bothering anybody and that kind of thing. So Absolutely, it's, uh, it even has a shower. You can go back. Go, go back and shower. And <laughs> well, and we have big parties too. We can use this sort of as an extra bathroom that makes area. Sense. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted, you could work out nude or something. You I could. mean, <laughs> have you ever done that, Steve? No. <laughs> and considering my age, I'm past the age where I'm probably ever going to do it. This, this is the guest house where Jimmy and Annie live. Oh, okay. You met Jimmy and Annie before. They're here full time. Well, the thing is that I'm gone so much. I like to have people who really live on the property full time. Absolutely. And. This is the other guest house, and this one, the people who live here are Martine, who is Paul McGreal. Do you know Paul McGreal? X-22. She's his ex-wife and his son. They both live in that house. So very often we have the two of them playing in two or three poker games. Martine's playing in a couple of poker games, and I'm playing in a couple of poker games. Okay, let's go back inside, and I'll show you the house. It's chilly. Because it is chilly. Okay, starting with the interior. I'm gonna let you guess what this room is. <laughs> I have to go to the kitchen. Oh, no more calls, folks. We have a winner. <laughs> I had a decorator who had some good ideas and some bad ideas, and we had a lot of fights, because I like sort of modern things, and she hated modern things. So you'll see that there are rooms heading in different directions. This is the... The main living room, which the formal living room, the formal living room, which hardly ever gets used. Um, this is sort of the first library. This is the first set of bookshelves. And come on back here. This is the second library. Right now, I read tons of junk mysteries, so I get lots of junk mystery stuff. This is kind of the main room where I spend all my time. It's totally messed up, of course, because I'm here all the time, but it's, you know, I watch television and play on the computer, play poker on the computer, do my full tilt stuff, and uh, going on with different games, more games, whatever. Uh, and this is the games room, it appears. This is the, uh, the game room. yeah, this is not bad. Again, when you have a lot of aggression, you come in, you say, I'm going to get that guy next hand. <laughs> And you just bang them around as hard as you can. Are you a good pool player? No. <laughs> I enjoy it though. And a full bar? A full, full bar. Most of this is left over from some of the parties. I mean, I'm sort of a simple drinker. I drink beer, wine, and scotch, and that's about it. All these, these weird things. I wouldn't know what to do. Malibu rum. That goes with pineapple juice. Okay. As soon as I find My a pineapple, I'll make it. Out. This next library that we're coming into. It's like a maze. This is cool. It, it's definitely like a maze. <laughs> um, this library in here is sort of the game books library. There's chess books, bridge books, poker books, mm -hmm. some novels relating to games, and that's the Do game section. Do you read section. a lot of books in regard to gaming? In, I read a lot in regard to everything, but definitely gaming. <laughs> this is the master bedroom. Very nice. And uh, again, you can see all the books that Very half the picture. time was showing uh, a woman around the house at one point at one of the parties, you know, there are a couple of people, and the one woman says, 
Well, with that picture, it's nice that you put a picture of a fairly heavy woman over the bed, and if you take someone in here, they won't they feel bail. <laughs> Self-esteem issues. Yeah. That makes sense. Of course, since I've had the same girlfriend for a million years, I've never got to test that theory out. This is the master bathroom, and it's got jacuzzi type stuff and all of that. Nice big shower. Now, women love all this. This is the closets, the beginning of the closets. The beginning of the closets. This is the master closet. Wow. This is more of the uh, closets and files. More closets and files. Wow. See, now I was That's saying, a lot of you know, now she's got them arranged by color very nicely, or things like, you know, the underwear. It's like they're all nicely <laughs> sorted. Depending on your mood. Yeah, depending on your mood. Okay. Now we're going to go back <laughs> this way. This is into the mistress section. The, I'm sorry? Mistress section. Oh. That was the master section. This is the mistress section. I understand. And these are the mistress closets. I've got a scarlet glove on the floor. Really? It looks meaningful. I think it goes up with all the other gloves. Okay. <laughs> uh, mistress bathroom. Oh, wow. So it's completely private. Yeah. But everything leads together. That's great. Well, part of it is my girlfriend and I keep very separate hours, strange hours. Mm -hmm. She likes to get up very early in the morning. I'm usually playing poker all night. So between the two of us, in New York, where yourself. it's a small apartment, half the time I'm having a late night snack and she's making coffee and breakfast. So wow. it's kind of different different timings. Uh, this room in here is the mistress bedroom. And now we're going to go back through here. Okay. And this will lead back to where we started out. Well, great. Thank you so much for having us overseas and for showing You're us welcome. around your home. This one. Stay, you go. stay warm as you go. Thank you very much. And drive safely. And that was the Las Vegas home of Steve Z. I'm Lizzie Harrison for Card Player TV. We'll see you next time on High Stakes Living.